Canna. Why you so cold? Why you so cold? Why you so cold? Why you so cold? What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Canna. Uh, I was just chilling here in the studio, <clears throat> mixing up uh, a track I've been working on with an artist of mine, uh, Young Doty. If you guys are familiar with the channel, I'm sure you're familiar with him. Um, but I'm just I'm doing a little engineering, kind of putting the track together, doing some cuts, um, some delay effects, so on and so forth. But uh, I'm gonna attempt a, a reverse reverb on a vocal piece here at the end of the track and figured this was a good opportunity to uh, share it with you guys and the process. Um, so without further ado, here we go. Reverse reverb in Reaper. Uh, I'll give you a quick little preview of the track, <clears throat> show you what I'm working with. This is a beat uh, I actually just dropped on YouTube called Holiday. All right, so you guys get the gist. <clears throat> what I'm thinking is a reverse reverb right here in this bridge to build up to the last hook. Oh, you actually, we might get a bonus here. <clears throat> so a stutter might actually be kind of slick right here. Let me try this real quick. So we're in eighth note spacing on the grid. And I'm just taking the first initial that le late, late, late for lately. And we're going to give it a little stutter effect. Let's see how this sounds. Do a little volume envelope on it. I just keep feeling like I'm finally all right, I can work with that. So, <clears throat> to get our reverse reverb, first we're going to want to start off Control T, create a new track. I'll bring this above the one we're working on, label it, and let's go through the process here. So loop record. We got the whole phrase lately. So let's do. We want those back together. So just press an S on the keyboard to split it right here. And this is lately, okay? Dragging this up to our reverse reverb channel. First things first, let's make sure our loop's all right. Can work with that. Right mouse click, go to item settings, reverse active take, okay? So we just reverse the signal. Now we're gonna come I want this reverse reverb to start right there. So we're going to drag this over to the other side and then pick our reverb. Uh, this will work. Just something simple, clean, not too much sauce on it. You don't want too much flavor, just a nice clean reverb here. So we've got our loop record on. <laughs> So we're going for a nice long, you want to match your reverb time so that tail is cutting off right at the end here. It's carrying pretty good. 
All right, so now what we want to do <clears throat> is go to File, make sure your track is selected on Solo. We're going to go to Render. Pick your destination wherever you need it to be. Wave format. We're going to do stems and time selection because we only want to render that reverb onto this given track. All right. So we'll hit render, reverse verb, show and explorer. And we can just drag this into. Sorry, I popped up in another window, but we just drag the file in. And we will get rid of this. And as you can see, there's a nice reverb tail on it. Let's take the reverb back off the channel. Hear all that reverb tail? Now, we'll go to item settings, re reverse it. Okay. And lastly, we're going to throw on <coughs> a little EQ. I like Q4. Uh, mono. Okay, I'm going to give it a little bit of air. And then actually, we'll just play it. Okay. Let's hear it in context. A little fade on the tail, cut it back. So with our stutter, we got a nice little transitional effect after the bridge. All right, y'all, back to work for me. But that was just a quick little run through. I hope that made some sense. Reverse reverb. You could use that on snares. Uh, you know, crashes, what, whatever the hell you want. Great vocal trick. Have at it. Get out there. Have fun. Much love. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. More coming as I think of it. Unless you start giving me suggestions. Play ya. Much love. I'm out.